in this video actually we're going to be talking about kubectl cardin and raid commands okay so so let's actually take a quick look at my cluster so i've got like uh, one master node and two worker nodes all right so let's take a look at the cardin command first i'm going to cardin node 2 and then if i quickly run this command you will see that node 2 is basically having the scheduling disable status right if i just create a pod or a deployment or any resource basically like in this case i'm creating a pod quickly and if i ran kubectl get pods and wide output you will see that that pod basically was scheduled on node one and no matter what resource that uh, what resource is created it will basically not be scheduled on node two because we have cordoned node two you can cordon a node and you can just wait for the applications to like you know do their deployments uh, you can actually wait for them to go away from your node that way you can do some sort of maintenance activity like like a restart or an upgrade or like yeah so you can do any maintenance activity on that particular node so cordoning a node does not actually disturb um, the existing pods like in this case we cordoned node 2 but as you can see the pods that are running on node 2 uh, are still running actually we haven't like kicked them off so unless someone does a deployment uh, you know a rolling restart something like that these pods will continue to run on this node actually so we're, this will not disturb the existing pods okay so we have that so i'm going to go ahead and delete the pod i just created and i'm going to go ahead and undo the cordon operation that i did so now our cluster is sort of back um, to the the normal state so all the nodes are good scheduling is not disabled anywhere so now i'm going to create another deployment called test deploy and that's going to have five replicas and it's based on busybox image let's actually take a look at how our cluster looks because you never know so we have five pods which are created by the deployment and most of them are running on node one but this one is running on node two okay so let's say that I want to actually do some maintenance on node one and this time I just don't want to card in and wait for the, the pods to clear out. I want to actually like be a little more aggressive and then kick off the pods on node one. So in this case, I'm going to run this command called drain. So and then it says draining is fine, uh, but then there are some pods which are in the coop system namespace um, and these are daemon sets so it says like I'm I cannot delete these kinds of pods so if you want to ignore them just go ahead and ignore it using this flag so as you can see as soon as I run this drain command it is basically evicting the pods that are running on node 1 so it basically clears out that node and if I run this command, you will see that basically everything will be running on node 2, right? There's nothing running on node 1. So now node 1 is free for whatever maintenance you want to do, okay? So if you do a kubectl get nodes, you will see that this node 1 is also having the scheduling disabled a drain command not only evicts the pods it starts by like cordoning the the node itself so this is basically kubernetes 
or kubectl drain and cordon commands and we also looked at uncordon i hope that was useful i will see you guys with another lesson and if you want to check out my other videos i will see you guys there as well like thank you